heading out on the BMW S1000XR. Let's see how we do, and we are off. I have never ridden one of these bikes. The seat seems a little smaller, but it like just fits your butt. <laughs> So far, a very smooth ride. I mean, you, you gotta expect this from a BMW, right? Yeah, this is my first experience on a BMW. The quick shifter is super smooth, up and down. Oh my God. So this S1000XR, I wanted to ride it because it is very similar to my Versus 1000. The seat height is about 33 inches, so it's another tall bike, but it's very narrow up front, so it's very easy to get the legs down. Hey, I am six foot two. Um, if you're not over six foot, this might be a bit of a struggle, but I believe these seats are adjustable. Notice how the rev limiter, the red line has gone up now that the engine is warmed up. So that's a pretty cool feature on the BMW. So. When it starts out cold, you could that the red line was closer to 7,000 or so, and now it's up to about 10,000. Oh, it's now it's up to 11. <laughs> I do have this in road mode, and the throttle I can tell is it's not sluggish, but it's very respectful. It's not just. That is really good throttle response right there. Oh, I'm just kind of enjoying this ride a little bit. I'll throw up a few little stats on the uh, on the screen here. 165 horsepower, I think. 80 something torque. Foot pounds. The bike weighs in at. 498 pounds, I believe it is. Super smooth ride. This is certainly more sporty than, than my Versus. And I think it's intended to be. Look at our ride leader right there, just balling it on it. She's not very tall, but she, pretty, she can handle it. Look at that. She ain't scared. Let's go to dynamic mode. This is the equivalent of the sport mode, I believe. A little bit faster throttle response. Let's see how the brakes are. Oh my gosh, the brakes, wonderful. Again, as you would expect. Certainly a lot more sport in the sport touring with this. But this is, I like this bike. Oh my gosh, this, mm. <laughs> This is probably taking a podium on my list. I think the base price of this is around seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars, but I don't think that includes any of the luggage. <laughs> okay, BMW. They, they pick a little route where you can give it a fun bit or two. Have that dynamic throttle response. I mean, it's good if you get used to it, but it's off the line. It's a little jerky.
What is happening here? I'm, I'm confused about the order. Somebody threw it off. This bike is very comfortable in the turns. No problems there. I don't think I like dynamic mode. I'm going to go back to... I'd like to get into all the dash, but there's just not time for that today. But you can customize, I think, all the stuff. It does look like heated grips is standard. I imagine this is the standard package. But keyless start. So that's a cool little feature. Um, electronic suspension, yep. Yeah. I'm impressed. This is, this is a pretty slick bike. <laughs> Hit a little slick spot and that traction control kicked in. <laughs> nice. So uh, traction control works. That's a big plus. So again, if I can compare it to my Versus 1000, you know, that's, that, that, that's certainly what I know. I think this would be a perfect bridge between something like the Versus 1000 if you're coming up from a sport bike. So maybe if you were a Yamaha R1 and, you know, all of a sudden you wake up one day and you realize, man, I'm older and my back doesn't want to hunch over all the time because uh, it happens. A bike like this, you still got the upright ergonomics, but man, this sucker is performing like a leader sport bike easy. And then once you get a little, you can go to like a Versus 1000 and then on up to the Goldwing, right? That's what you do. Whee! Oh, this is just a fun ride. So this thing can rev to just north of 6,000 and you're not really feeling a lot of vibe. So you can really rev this thing out and get into the meat of the power. So we're coming into the close of the ride here. Um, superb, superb bike. I thought we were coming close to the end, but oh, she may want to overtake this Subaru. nice ride I'm, I'm impressed this this may take top spot on my list uh, is it better than my versus 1000 I think so um, especially if you're wanting more of the sport than the sport touring okay more hill assist and then we just stop turn it off Wow, amazing ride. Woo, I like this thing. BMW S1000XR. The S1000XR, it parallels the, my Versus 1000 the most. I really like that bike. That was, it was an awesome bike. It, it, I don't know how much of this review is the novelty of it, being that it was a new bike. It certainly had a lot more power. I really think the S1000XR, it is a sport bike posing as a sport touring bike, <laughs> which which I love. I appreciate y'all checking out these videos. Again, check out Woolies if you're interested in any BMWs and you're in the Atlanta area. I'll leave a link to them in the description. But appreciate y'all stopping by. Please hit that like button and subscribe. That really helps me grow this channel and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for stopping by ride safe y'all